Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., running just a smidge behind today. Uh, Arcadius will be joining us in a little bit, and hopefully Riest will be joining us before too long. In the meantime, I was getting ready to go fly and do my intro at the uh, at the fence where we were going to do our our bit, but uh, <laughs> we, we, we seem to have a present here. Our payment from the market. With some melons and pumpkins. You see, Arcadius was uh, in need of some melons and pumpkins to trade with the uh, the guy that he had going over there and I told him I would gladly give him a shulker full of melons and a shulker full of pumpkins for half the emeralds he earned from the ordeal and I, I appear to have my uh, very nice profit and the one lone melon <laughs> oh that's not gonna stack dang it <laughs> uh, we know how to fix that. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so there. There that is. And we are definitely going to... That's where I kept putting my item frames. I was looking for those. <laughs> oh my. We're definitely going to have to do some AFK to get our... Uh, melon stockpile back up. Same for the pumpkins. The farm is pretty good, but um, it might be time to, to make a bigger one. Yeah, we, we might have to look at building a bigger farm here in the very near future. Like maybe next week. Or between this week and next week. One of the two. Because uh, when you need to stockpile... Yeah, th this was good. Ooh. I forgot I had those sitting there. All right, good to know. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that, that is about a day's worth of AFK. Um, right there, give or take. Uh, so, like, if I were to, at the end of the stream today, and let it run until... Um, when I get home from work tomorrow, that's pretty close to what I get there. Maybe, maybe some more pumpkins, like enough to start a fourth stack, and maybe down into over here for the melon slices. So it's not a bad farm, especially for for an individual production. And I'm pretty sure I went over how the the build and all that uh, earlier in the season, but um. I may go back through the farms of Coffee Craft again at another date and do it in its own little separate video. You know, something that's just, uh, this is the farm, this is how it works. This is the farm, this is how it works. Yeah, and this is uh, about a day's worth of AFK from the mob dropper too. So you got about that in the right box and about that in the left box. And it's not bad. And again, for a small server like ours where there's only the the two of us, the three of us, if I can count, it's not that bad. And even when we add our fourth person at the start of season one, um, that's not that's not going to be too bad a yield. Although with the changes to trading mechanics and the way the way trades work, um, it might be worth building a bigger one, just so we can get our hands on emeralds a little bit quicker and a little more efficiently. Um, oh, oh good. <laughs> I forgot that was there. The smoke rendered in before the chimney. <laughs> I was like, what's on fire? Oh, nothing. Just the fireplace. So, if you remember, last week we worked on that zombie spawner over there. No, last week we worked on the lighting up the caves and all that. And a fair amount of work has gone into that as well. Hello, Loma. Um, a fair amount of work has gone into that is definitely helped the rates over here. Um, there is a lot more to do. There is a lot of cave under here. There is a lot of cave under here. Uh, where was it? Because I want to say when I was... Ow. 
somewhere around here I heard some critters through the wall and I want to oh. ouch let's try not falling on everything of course Reyes has been uh, beautifying a lot as we go and oh yep yeah, no that part's got to get lit up uh, which I don't have anything handy on me Still got to keep going down that way. I see you over there. Yeah. Definitely more to go on over there. So that, that project will continue. Um, just wanted to take a little break from that and get back to the wall. So that way... Um, oh, that's out. Get back to the wall so that way uh, we've got a better... Better line of defense. Um better perimeter so that way we can start letting our villagers out and let them uh, do what villagers do and you know get the village populated because Reyes does want at least one of each and I'd really like to get it so you could AFK over here uh, a little safer although because we got those ladders there the way they are um, I do not want to encourage any AFKing lest somebody seize up the server from all the XP that gets created. <clears throat> Arcadius. <laughs> Alright, so it is naturally getting towards night because I'm getting ready to start something. That's usually when it gets towards night. Um... <laughs> And what we got to do is we got to figure out what we're doing about this fence. This fence is definitely going to come out along this way up to the beach. And it's when we get to the beach that I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Do I want to just like run it over the water? And across the back of that farm? Because I want to, I definitely want to integrate the farm itself into the design that we're using. So somehow the, the wall is going to continue into the back of the farm uh, and then go from there. And while I'm thinking about it, I really ought to change out what's at the top of that glass tube to slabs so nothing can spawn on top of the tube. While I am thinking about it, where's my... Stone brick slabs, because stone brick slabs will blend in with what we got there. Let's fail to fly. Maybe a snack. We're feeling a little peckish. That's it. We'll go with that. And we'll pick these up here. I know that there is one glass block missing somewhere over here. And we'll cover this up like that. Oh yeah, and the turtles. We, we gotta make a little home for the turtles. glass block one yeah I think that's it there we go what I'll probably do is I'll do that there like that and that there like that and I'll put some sort of decoration up in those corners there all right now because we've got that redstone there Probably want the wall coming up against the back of this glass tube. So that's the marker, that little stone brick pillar right there. That was the marker we were originally going to have for our wall. Yeah, I might, uh, as much as I don't want to do it, because I think one of those turtles has their home on that beach over there. Um, 
think I'll just build the wa the wall directly over the water. Then maybe do some iron bars to keep the drowned out. And then light it up so that way the drowned don't spawn in there. Um, I'll need some sea pickles for that. Which... You know where they are? They're back at my base. Let me check an ender chest to make sure I don't have them floating around somewhere. Ooh. Yay, server glitch. Uh oh. I hear frantic typing. <laughs> Just kill the tur- No! Uh-uh. Matter of fact, I'm surprised you said that out loud. Where, you know, Reyes could see it. No, no, we, we will move the turtles, ethically. Where did the ender chest go? Ah, uh, no, I've got one over here. At this point, I might as well just go back and, uh... Hmm, food. Random project stuff, random project stuff, random projects... I, I, I guess I've got a fair number of uh, random projects and random project boxes. Okay, yeah, sea pickles are back at the base. Let's do that now while I'm thinking about it. And eventually... I still want to build that rail line out from here to the temple. Um, okay, now you're really worrying me, Arcadius. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you're not on Discord right now. Get out of the chat. Join the voice. Start lighting up some tunnels. <laughs> Somewhere in here. Hopefully in the box labeled plants and pickles. Are some sea pickles. Hmm. Uh, that is a tragically small number of sea pickles. Let's go fix that. Yeah, this project is steadily moving further and further away from building a wall. But... Alright, uh, let's do this. Two of them? Nah, we'll grab more. Okay. And Arcadius has, or at least had, a little sea pickle growing platform out this way somewhere. Uh, we used it earlier on in the season. Yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> there's already a couple of sea pickles there. Cool. Oh, okay. Although, I'm here. Uh, let me just go ahead and get a few more of these guys. I mean, it's not like I'm short on bone meal or anything. And that'll jump into swim mode in a heartbeat, too. Because, yeah, that, that little bit of bone meal got us 58 pickles? Well, 57, because I brought one. Oh, look. No, 58. While I'm doing this, some dolphin's probably going to go start flying around here playing with the sea pickles. Oh, 
Okay. That's more than enough. Okay. Oh, I say that now. Uh, and we might eventually want to go ahead and build one of these platforms out by the, uh, the village anyway. Although, I don't... I don't know that we're going to need too much of that. Ooh. I almost forgot. Did I ever show you guys this wonderful little chest Arcadius built down here way back at the beginning? I think this was before we... Yeah, this was before we were even broadcasting. Um... I wonder if he'll miss that time block. No. <laughs> yeah. I heard the puffer fish. It's okay. I don't. Yeah, that, that was a while ago. There we go. Which way am I trying to head? Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> That reminds me, that is an unfinished project I need to work on. That is an unfinished project I need to work on. That's an unfinished project I need to work on. <laughs> That's an unfinished project that I need to work on. So let's go back to this unfinished project that I will be working on. <laughs> might have a problem. Hi, buddy. Alright. I really just want enough light to keep the drown from spawning. in this area. Well, now that it comes right to it, I'm not sure what it takes to prevent the drown spawning. I mean, I could just obliterate all the flat spaces, but uh, that seems a tad extreme. We'll just pepper sea pickles everywhere. that clay up eventually. Oh, um, air, breathing. And sleeping. Because there's already spider- oh, jeepers creepers. Hmm. There's a safe place to sleep. Oh, that's right, the house. Run away! You can't sleep. There are monsters nearby. Nah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now let's uh, go do some mob cleanup. Some of that seems to be happening from natural selection. Don't miss. Oh! Huh. So that happened. Well then. Um. Okay. Not bad. 
Did any of the animal, anim, animals, <laughs> did any of the animals bite it? No, it doesn't look like. Um, is that a tipped arrow? I think it is. Who's shooting tipped arrows at me? Animals, did that accidentally hit Rath's structure? No. No, structure's fine. That is all of our hides if it did. <laughs> nah, nothing we can't fix. I mean, I like how TNT now drops everything that, uh... Every... Oh, yeah, now's, now's a chance I can change those pants, too. Um, but first, let me find us a little more dirt. I think we got some more dirt around here somewhere. Gravel, sand, clay. Where's the dirt? Those are all the bone blocks I brought. Okay, come on. I definitely want those. I definitely want. There's my empty uh, shulker boxes that I was toting around for reasons. Um, hmm. The ender pearls, the axe. Checking around me just in case. The carrots, the pickles, the bears. Oh wait, no. That, that was a different show. Um, yeah, let me go repair these pants and then put them back in a box. And go get the ones I want. That, uh... Yeah. Is this the box that has the grass? Or the dirt? No. There we go. I knew we had one around here somewhere. that back over to regular dirt. Look at that. Good as new. You'd never know something happened. I mean, other than the video evidence that we're creating right now, but um, that might be carefully edited out in a future segment. goes for you. Oh, that's right. I was coming here to, <laughs> to repair the pants. Then I was going to grab another set. Meanwhile, I'll collect all the helpful things over here. Make sure this is still working. Although, yeah, it almost certainly is. We just gotta finish lighting up some of the areas down below. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I left all that on. Of course I did. I are a professional. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm still tired from moving stuff around. I bet. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. I am more than happy to help. I, I love helping. I'm, I love that I'm able to do something. Uh, however, comma. <laughs> it is a very tiring drive. It is very tiring work. I mean, the drive alone is enough to throttle you. Yeah. Drive by itself is... Eh, that's what a good audiobook's for. Too bad I haven't found one. <laughs> Could I ask? I can, I can give you some recommendations. 
Yeah. My uh, my audible budget is a little on the low side right now, so I, I gotta kind of content myself to listen, re-listen to some books. Oh, okay. And there's a couple of podcasts that I really wanted to listen to, but the uh, the guest's microphone was so much lower than the interviewer. To hear the guest, I had to have the interviewer practically yelling in my ear. And it's like, uh, I'm not. No, I, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I, I always have an issue with road noise trying to listen to audiobooks in the yeah. car. Well, and that's the other thing. One of the one of the speakers on another podcast, just the 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 pitch their voice sits at, um, is just enough to that the road noise interferes with it. You know what I mean? Where, where they're kind of they're kind of low and bassy, and you got that ro- that low rumble of the road, and it's like you know, I love you, man, I really do, but <laughs> this is uh, what this is a bit much. I need to figure out how far out. I don't know. Or do I just eliminate the beach, fill it in, push it out a little bit further? Because I know we do want to build a dock, but I was thinking the dock was going to go on the other side anyway, where there's more open space. And maybe put the uh, the big old dock here, a couple of uh, fishing barrels. Sorry, <laughs> I was struggling there for a second couple of barrels out on the dock so that way the fishermen wander out there we just gotta you know set up fences and stuff so nothing crawls out of the deep and attacks them uh, we also need to put a fence around this area because that's uh, one of the entrances into the cave system down below we might uh I might just seal in this entrance right here there's no point in having more than one Maybe. Nah, somebody went through way too much effort to get all those sea lanterns. I'll leave that there. Um, right. Focus, focus. Not my strong suit today. Today? Hey, hey. Easy now. <laughs> all right. That was an easy one. Sorry. So I don't want to, I want to build the fence one further back than the contraption. That means that wall is going to have to come through this way. Yeah, I'm still kind of mad that I haven't had a chance to keep up on uh, the snapshots and that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know if you saw that video that Waddles put out on some of the combat updates they're testing out. There's a uh, special world download you can use that actually has an arena and uh, little vending stations that give all the different uh, weapons and enchantments. Like they're they're talking about a new uh, possibly. It is still very much up in the air. But they're possibly talking about a new axe enchantment that uh, is mutually exclusive with sharpness and it increases your axe's damage and uh, knocks the shield away for a longer duration. Yeah, I, I saw a Zuma Voids video about the uh, topic and from what I was seeing there doesn't seem to be a reason to even have a a question on whether you would put sharpness or chopping on it because regardless of which one you chose it does the same amount of damage so yeah. chopping three or sharpness five you're gonna get i think it's like 12 damage off of it yeah but the difference is is it increases oh, how is, long uh, the shield is down for yeah which and, uh I can definitely see the benefit to that on, on PvP servers or or multiplayer servers that allow for PvP. I guess I'm slightly nonplussed because there are no mobs that have shields yet. 
So, um... Well, we, we are oh. the exception. I mean, most servers allow for PvP. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of times that Rast wishes we had PvP. <laughs> yeah. It, and, and I'm tempted to allow it back on. Maybe, possibly. Not likely, though. Um, I don't see the reason in blocking it, really. I mean... We well, no, really the, the reason why we blocked it is because Reyest had, no, the reason we blocked it was because Reyest had the Jack Skellington uh, skin, and we kept turning around and shooting her, think she was thinking she was a skeleton. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got tired of getting shot by us because of that thing. <laughs> ah, you can still shoot her; it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, exactly. That's why we made that change. Yeah, so I, I am. I'm still. I, I like the changes they're doing to the combat stuff. I kind of like that they're at least allowing for the people who ooh, have the reflex to spam click. Um, I understand why they took it away, but I think instead of a complete takeaway, it really should have just been what it's become now. Uh, where it's not as fast, or it's not as beneficial. Yeah. Because you can still sit there and just hold down the button, but it's not going to do as much damage as it would yeah. if you were crafty enough to click when you're supposed to. You know, so you still got the... There's still a... Di there, there's enough of a difference that it makes a difference to do a power attack versus something else yeah um, let me where do I want to put this I want to put this somewhere else so those are the boxes we were using while caving and I am going to go back to lighting and gathering resources but not today okay I need some mossy stone and slabs and the stairs and the wall. I'm gonna need some cracked stone. Yeah, we'll go ahead and load up enough of that. I haven't been using it as much as I probably should. Labs and some walls and some stairs. Yeah, that'll work. Oh. And I need some iron bars. And some dark oak. Yep, okay. run out of iron. Oh, hush. <laughs> I mean, we could. It's theoretically possible. None of us is over there loading up the farm right now. Pretty sure that farm is in the spawn. Uh, I don't know if it's close enough to spawn. And I, I meant to check on that river, too. Because that is one of those things that uh, I really would like to make sure that we've got Because with nobody quote unquote here to activate it, we're up to like three double chests here. Yeah, we were <laughs> when I checked the last time too. How long ago is that? Because I've went uh, through right and actually blocked stream. all of it. I've blocked it all since then. Ah. Well, that's why I put in all those boxes so we didn't have to go back in and block it off every now and again. Yeah. It's still helpful. Alright. Um. Grab those. 
I'll come back through with uh, more sea pickles and we'll lay it up some more of that area. Oh look, a dolphin. He's going to unhelpfully play with the stuff that I drop. They are nice. I do like that they play with stuff, but uh, sometimes it's a little less than helpful. Dude, seriously, we were just talking about that. Okay. Speaking of dolphins playing with the blocks you drop. Still have another one of my bricks, don't you? You do. Oh, you brought it to me. Good boy. I wish I had a fish. <laughs> Player three enters the game. Hello, Rayest. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. What are we doing? I am working on the wall. Did we ever finish the mine? Nope. But I needed to take a break from because the caving. There was sadness there. Oh yeah. And it, it ate me. It is getting sadder and sadder. It was bad. No. Bad was the creeper. Uh, a non let blow up your house. What? Seriously, dude. You gonna... You gonna do that here on air. Did that really happen? <laughs> no. No. It no. was about 10 blocks to the side. Your house is fine. How you going on? I'm about to go check. Of course you are. That's more than I want. It's not like it hasn't happened before. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Oh. Would you... My inventory is, like, massively full. Oh, a fish. <laughs> you said you wanted a fish. Actually, I was going to give it to the dolphin, but... I think he absconded with some of the blocks I dropped instead of uh, being helpful. So I guess I won't give it to him. <laughs> so where are these, uh... Turtles that need to be ethically moved. Over here. You're doing what? But I don't think <laughs> you should be the one to ethically move them, if you catch my drift. Or I might ethically move you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now nah, they're just floating around over here. The, the question... The question we were pondering is what to do with this little bit of beach that's going to end up under the wall. Do I just uh, run the... Hi. Do you run the high? No. There's the dolphin. Oh, you make a miniature pier here. And you could do to the wall like I did at my fortress. But where there's a small And it's not arch. much of a wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do want to protect this area from drown coming up out of the, out of the deep. Anyway, we could gate it at that point. And I thought we were going to build the pier over on the other bit of wall, or the other bit of water on the other side. Because this is, this is too small for a dock. Here. Your dolphin gave it to me. <laughs> yeah. He, he's been helpful like that. Why don't we just slowly fill this in? Uh, we could do that too. I was also thinking about putting a uh, wall of iron bars underneath the wall. And then just... 
light up that area so that way nothing will spawn in there but you'll still have your turtles and critters and such so I need to go find sea pickles yeah you can do that too I just wasn't sure if that was going to be the final the final judgment I think that'll look better because I mean I've already filled in a bunch of water over there already to uh, to expand out this area and I didn't want to go quite that far no I think that'd look but better we also we also thought the wall was going to end over here by the sand and then we built uh, the zombie spawner is there an underwater fortress over here not that I can think of. Not that I've seen. Well, there's a structure under the water. I do not know what kind of structure it is. Oh, that is Where? very deep. Where I am at. Which is... I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to go see what it is, and I'll tell you if it's something worth looking into. Okay. No, it just looks like exterior terrain that happened underwater. Yeah, that happens. It's sometimes. weird. It's really weird. It's like a cave, but oh, underwater. There's more caves, too. Uh, I don't think these caves connect to the ones that we've been digging either. Uh, they're in the area not that until we need we to fill in. Them. But I mean, we've clearly been down part of this at least, because all the torches. Oh no. Oh no. I'm running out of bubbles, and there wasn't an exit on the other side of the cave like I thought there was. <laughs> Oops. Bubbles! Bubbles! Okay, we're good. space to do that. No oh, inventory space. The never-ending battle. Alright, um... Yeah. Sorry, lost track of thought. So we'll try to make this a protected bay inside the wall. Do the iron bars and then... Uh, yeah, the, the, only, the only other issue that I was running across was I think one of these two turtles calls this beach over here home. Um, and the third guy over there claims somewhere near where that corner is. So I wasn't he sure claims rights of survivorship. Uh, he claims a bit of beach that has mysteriously disappeared. Oh. Yeah. Maybe he'll claim the bit of beach next to it. I Do they migrate I, at all? Uh, they no. they migrate, but they always return to where they were hatched. Yep. Or in their case, spawn. Since I don't think they yeah. hatched. Yeah. No. So that is one, two, three, four, five blocks wide. Well, how do you get a turtle egg? By feeding Ooh. the turtle seagrass. Ask very nicely and I'll bring you some. <laughs> they were even sort of ethically farmed. They were very ethically farmed. How do you farm seagrass? With shears. Uh, yep. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. If only we had iron. 
Yeah, no, we gotta be careful. We might run out. Three, four, five. Also, do we have any extra corners. totems of undying? Yes. You know what? I definitely ought to build a tower. One, two, three. Yeah, three by three inside tower. Yeah, that's that's what I'll do. Are there any Two, over here? Three. There will be. Just give me a second to get over there. Also, which of my houses did you guys almost blow up? Neither. If you can't tell, then uh, it clearly is just fine. And pay no attention to the man suggesting such blasphemy as houses blowing up. He's an unreliable narrator. He just threw you under the bus so fast. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. I got whiplash. <laughs> I'd ask for the number, but even the camera's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll push this wall out just a little bit. That was one of the big things, too, when I got down to this side, I was figuring out what I was going to do in the corner. So we'll go all oh, one, two, three. We two, have black horses. Ooh, nice. Where are lassos? Uh, currently being used. You don't need to keep the... Uh the llama on one if you uh, just grab the one that's connected to him. Yeah. Or you could wait for another wandering trader and ask him nicely. You have problems I'm with my commenting. methods. Oh, well, we only have ten in the box, so. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Eleven. Eleven. Also, shears take two bits of iron, right? Yes. In a diagonal from each other. Alright, I'll figure out how I want to work the doors and all that in a little bit. There are horses. Alright, and so we'll put that there. I'll figure out the tower design later. Now, we can start taking this wall all the way across. If I can figure out just how far I'm moving this thing. Check. Two, three, four, five. Block. Have you seen any of Mumbo's videos with uh, the honey blocks? I have seen a few. I don't really understand them. Um. It is uh, very interesting to have two sticky blocks that don't stick to each other. It allows you to build more intricate, intricate machines and doors and things. Three, four, five. Um, without running into some of the push limit problems that you had previously. I didn't know there were any. 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta push it. Oh, nay, nay. I, I did not have any push limit problems. Or... Oh, yeah. That's gonna get a little terraforming love. There's one, two, three, four, five. Wall. Then it can drop. Uh, is somebody already on their way to a bed? No, I'm in the sky. Yeah, I got Looking it. for sea pickles. Why are you looking for sea pickles? Just because grab some. Because I don't have any sea pickles. Uh, there's a couple of sea pickles in the brown box with lighting over by my work area at the front gate. And if you find some bone meal and coral... Um, you just put a pickle oh, down on the coral and bone in meal the swamp. it and it'll grow. Hmm? There's a witch's hut in the swamp. Really? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but it's a thing. Uh, that means that we get to build our witch farm. Or witch old witch? What if there's no witch, witch in the witch's hut? Oh, there, there will be a witch in the witch's hut. Okay. That sounded ominous. <laughs> Not ominous, just, uh... There, there, there will be. Makes me think of Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> you. Oh, you. Be. <laughs> I'm not I'm sorry. You will be. That was Yoda. That was Yoda. <laughs> Yoda, Emperor Palpatine. Two. Three, four, five, wall, then drop. Three, four, five, wall. Right, and that's going to carry on for some time. Yeah, it's, uh, since we're got the Star Wars bit, it's not looking good for Lucasfilms here lately. Why for? Uh, Benioff and Weiss, the, the two directors who worked on the better parts of Game of Thrones, and to be fair, the worst parts, um, were originally signed on to do a trilogy in the Star Wars universe. And they decided that they'd rather take Netflix's money instead. Oh. Yeah. That's not very nice. Uh, not very nice for whom? I mean, for the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Uh, I, I am kind of sad about that because they do have a, a pretty good track record of taking existing material and adapting it well. They don't do so good at making new material in an existing world. Has but they seen can, by later they, seasons of a certain thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they do really good at adapting stuff that is already existing to a new new deal oh uh <laughs> found another cave that we gotta get into I, I see that oh. I already uh blocked it off three four five one I also love that on cord killers uh Tom was giving Brian a very hard time because since they started the first version of the show, Frame Rate, uh, Apple's been talking about launching Apple TV. And Brian's been kind of like, it, it didn't take but maybe a year of that. It's around the corner, it's around the corner, it's around the corner until he goes, 
I'm not caring until there's an actual product that I can spend money on. <laughs> so now that the day has arrived, uh, 10 years later? Yeah, it, it's been about 10 years since they first started talking about, uh, since they first started talking about making Apple TV. There, there were some comments. I tell you, they weren't good comments. Um, it depends on how things go. Uh, it's very clear that Apple is trying to do as much as they can to bolster the initial numbers because right now they don't have the biggest show lineup. Uh, they're a little bit behind the curve on that. Like if if they had come out nine years ago with the lineup they have now, it would have been awesome. Uh, because it was better than what anybody else is doing. Although, they can always console themselves that they're doing better than AT&T is doing with HBO and the Warner <laughs> materials, but um, that is a glorious destruction of a once-beloved brand. Do they have Firefly? Um, I don't know. Right now, they have HBO for $14.99 a month, and they have HBO Max, which is HBO plus some stuff for $14.99 a month. Yeah. If they don't have Firefly, then you know, they're not going to make it. Uh, I don't I, I don't think they're going to make it anyway. Uh, they, they, every possible misstep you could make, they are making. And it is hilarious if you're writing articles about it, but sad if you actually, you know, care about anything that's happening. You know, I would, I would say you have to try to fail that hard, but then I've seen you play D and D, so. Hey. hey. Whoa, that just happened. <laughs> I see how it is. Where are you guys? Three, four, five, wall. I am building a fence. I hear good fences make good villages. Or neighbors. I'm, I, I never could remember which. Fences make good neighbors? Yeah. You never heard that? No, that's, that's a new one. <laughs> no, it's a very old one, actually. <laughs> Uh, that goes back to Robert Frost, I think. And probably further back than that. Uh, that's just wow. my earliest recollection. I've read a lot of Robert Frost, and I don't remember that one. Yeah, good fences make good neighbors. I mean, there's some truth in that, but I'm just... <laughs> just some? <laughs> just some. I'm trying to be yeah. polite. Holy cow, what was that? The wind. Anyway, Arcadius, where are you? Around the corner. Of what? The island. <laughs> where is the corner of the island? One, two, three, four. It's flying in your direction. Three, four. Because you asked for a undying totem. Ah. I asked for some other things too. I don't remember that one. What was that? Uh, I need an undying totem. I need sea pickles. Mm. Okay. And I also could use more rockets, but I didn't say that one before. Okay. Class one, but if two. you're going back to get the sea pickles, then... Yeah. While you're up. Class one, two, or three rockets. Oh, just one. I only use class one. <laughs> like it's a bad thing. The other ones go too fast. Three, four, five. I fly into things if I use the other ones. <laughs> Alright. Um... 
that's probably going to have to change anyway. Because there's supposed to be a gate over here. Hmm. Is that a... Oh no, that's a cactus. Okay. And then we got to figure out what to do with this area. We'll fill in that water there. And maybe work our... Work our way around the terrain? Oh! I remember that cave too. But I believe that's filled in. Um... Yeah, somebody's been... Somebody's been this way. Uh, where was the... Uh... Where's the back wall going to be? Was it the end of the gray road that the... Oh, no. The... All right. I think we were kind of loosely coming up with an idea at that point. Okay. So, for purpose of figuring out uh, gate and wall logistics, are we taking mm -hmm. this back wall and gate all the way... or? all the way out to the three pillars over here? Or are we going out to the end of where the, the gray powder goes? Whatever is pretty. Whatever is pretty. All right, sleeping is pretty. Let's start there. Yes, actually. If only it was that easy to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Three seconds and you're done? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. That, that was a great rest. I feel refreshed. <laughs> I can go another 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... Hey, we have black horses. <laughs> He's got polka dots. <laughs> Polka dot horses. Where are you at? I'm trying to give you the stuff. <laughs> you. I'm where the pickles go. Um. Where the wild pickles are. Yep. Sorry. All this talk about pickles, and all I can remember is <laughs> you guys giving Jabba a pickle. <laughs> oh, he That's loves awesome. pickles. And he ate the thing and left the skin. Like, I will take all of this. Thank you. Except the skin. <laughs> well, he didn't want that. Oh, clearly not. Some cold war over here. Why are some of these pickles not adding illumination? They are. Uh, one one pickle singular does not add a whole lot of illumination. But they can stack up to four times but they on can the same stack block. Up to four. Yeah. And at four, they provide the same as a torch, which is fifteen, I think. Uh, fifteen or fourteen. Um, that way you hand me a million pickles? Yep. Mm -hmm. I gave you, what, three stacks, I think? Oh, here's another question for the group to ponder. Um, okay. I have been more than marginally tempted to start playing with the... Uh, setting up a villager or something that would sell player heads like they do on Hermitcraft. Mm -hmm. So you could actually buy Arcadius' head and mount it on a pike. Yes. Or, you know, um, yes. so on and so forth. Um, I, I kind of figured the answer for do we want player heads was yes. The question was what price? I was actually thinking instead of doing the whole gemstones to blank heads to the whole convolutedness that that is 
just do a straight up purchase <laughs> of like you know a head for an emerald or something like that. <laughs> I honestly think Emerald is a little too cheap with the current, you know, market value of them. But a diamond ahead would probably be okay. I'm not paying a diamond for your head. I, you're just gonna <laughs> ask me for the diamond anyway, so... <laughs> but that's not the point, right? Exactly! <laughs> I knew how this was gonna go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I need six on either side of the road. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure that I wanted to go to diamonds as a currency just because I'd like to kind of keep the, the theme of the villagers. I mean, if that's, that's what we end up deciding as a group, then so be it. But uh, I, I really would like to try to not do the the diamond as currency with a villager. Okay. Uh, maybe for other things, but not not that. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Um, Your logic two, seems logical. Three, four, five, six. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to move the road three blocks? It makes building this fence more symmetrical. Okay. Oh, seriously? That... I thought that was going to be a harder harder sell than that. I'm sorry, what S word did you say? Ah, okay. Fair point. Um, and you don't even have to move the whole thing over. Uh, just... Uh, the, the side gate that I'm at by the vaguely phallic pillar of water um I just need the road make it sound over. more awkward <laughs> well I mean that's what it is one two three four five and then a wall and then I need one two, um the odd pillar of water I am by but what road needs to be moved I'm confused at which road requires moving. Over here? You're walking towards where it at, where it's at. Oh, okay. So this would need to end up where the gate would be here. So where? Oop, one too many. So that's where the wall, the road would go. It's like that. Yep. Except I'd bump up the train to level it out a little bit. Three. Yeah. Because I need six blocks on either side of the road. And if I leave the road where it's at, that means this fence is only going to be two wide instead of the five wide that every other section of fence is. <laughs> That's fair. Um, and now that we know where that gate's going to go, I can actually start on a redstone for that, too. Well, I'm really glad I didn't bin build the barn that's going here yet. <laughs> and I think what I'll do is I'll wait on the back half until we finish up this wall here and the gate. Uh, that gives you time to build the barn. And then we know how far back the back wall's going. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay. Um, let me go grab some dirt so I can do a little terraforming in this spot. And fill in that hole over there. Come on. 
not fly, you fool. Now the big question is, does this mean that I need to move the house that's over there a little bit? Or are we just going to have streets that don't align? Uh, I'm actually okay with streets that don't align. That makes it feel a little more natural. Only because of the state we live in. Well, yes, that too. to that in a second. I'm going to need another one, two, three, four, five, six. So the terrain's going to have to go up at least that far. Now, once we get this all lit, will the pillagers continue to spawn in here with us, or...? No. When, once we have it lit, will they, be outside? they will not spawn as long as we have it lit properly. Uh, that's why once we get the fence, at, or at least the fence lined out... Sorry, needed to double check something. Okay. Um, so, once we get the fence lined out, we can actually start working on lighting the inside, and then we can have the villagers... Uh, building the village while we work on the rest of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that. One, two, three, six, and that. Okay. I'll figure out the rest from there. There should be sleeping. There should be sleeping. You said that now that I get to the bed. Somehow I lost concrete in the process of what I just did. You lost concrete powder? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that wall is further away than it was before, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, yes, you lost concrete, but not for the reasons you think. Although I was marginally tempted to maybe let you continue along in trying to figure that out. I don't need that in my life right now, thank you very much. Super yeah, I know, that's why I didn't actually do it. But I thought it, and I just thought you should know. I just peopled for like a whole event this weekend and have not recovered. Yeah, I know. You just channel your inner horde and playing server. I don't people that much. Says the person who works in retail. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know that there, there, there are there are those corporate jobs open. I gotta tell you, I, I've been I've been considering getting back into training and development. don't know. What did you like about doing training and development before your job became five people's jobs? Um, <laughs> I liked actually training people and making sure they knew what they were doing. We could use some of that. <laughs> yeah, what company couldn't? What company said, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> I'll stop right there. <laughs> hey, look, I managed to pick up all my grass blocks. <laughs> oh yeah, some of them picked up their uh, grass blocks too. Well, if they were doing full blocks, that would explain a lot. All right, uh, this Arcadius, is... are you over here? Nope. <laughs> Why are you never with us? 
Because my tools are never okay. But we have the thingy here that that makes yeah. them better. It, yeah, no, that thing does not make things better. <laughs> Why? Because his tools are about a hair's breadth away from dead, so they take longer to fix. And we haven't finished lighting up, so the spawn rates are still kind of low-ish. Ah. So hopefully, would it be when better done, if we built it know, on a mushroom place? Uh, we couldn't build it on. Well, we would have to find a spawner on a mushroom place. But you won't find. Which you won't find. Like, mushrooms don't have any bad people. Which is honestly why I'm surprised you don't ever just always seek one out and build on it. Why? So you don't have bad people. Ever. But then I have bad people heads. And they give me these nice totems. Uh, yeah, you know. Well, technically, I, I gave you the totem. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. They died for these totems. Do not diminish their sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. And that happened. Yep, I need that more happened. concrete powder. Yeah, we're going to need Nine a little bit because I'm going to need some more concrete powder for over by the gate, too. Okay. What color is it? Uh, a color? <laughs> you know, I would love to bring you some, but I need light more gray. color. Light gray. <laughs> light gray. Light gray. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe one more stack for the time being. Because I, I have a funny bring two. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe two because I have a funny feeling that once the barn is built in this quadrant here, uh, this area that <laughs> that's over on the back is gonna have to get extended out a little bit. Um, I, Did I you see the project, horses I found? Yeah, I also noticed that our project keeps getting a little bit bigger each time we work on it. Like. Th this is feeling. We said like we wanted our... to work on big projects. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Th this is just feeling like you know our uncle's house where I wanted to add this room, and, and well, if I'm going to go through the work to add this room, I might as well move this wall back. And if you're going to move the wall, and the back, roof, and, and the corner, might... and <laughs> and then you start with a uh, one-story four <laughs> four room, you know house that ends up uh, being a three-story with a garage so big the city's charging you taxes like it's a, a livable structure. Two, three. Yeah, I'm three, glad we don't five, have problems like he does. Six. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, six. So it's five gates in between the wood logs. Pardon? Oh, uh, five iron bars between the wooden logs? Yes. Yeah. That is correct. And there's a three by three tower at each corner. The interior of the tower is three by three. Oh no, I'm working on the, um, by the turtles. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That I was going to do a pillar of wood underneath, too, in between the bars. Ah. So it looked like it had a little bit more structure to it. Yeah, that works. We have a certain person of medical persuasion in our audience tonight? Uh, not that I've seen. I don't think so. Sadness. Why, were you about to ask a medical question? No, I was just going to tease him. He sent me a text earlier today. Uh, uh, we should also start thinking about some of the things that we want to do for next season, since that is still tentatively coming up. Um, uh, January will never come. January will never come. Nope. We're, we're seriously going to try that? 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, he's been antsy to get in on a uh, conference call. <laughs> yeah, because one of the one of the things that we probably ought to decide is if we're going to keep this at the normal difficulty we've been playing, or bump it up into hard. My inclination is going to be bump it into hard because some of the some of the builds and things only really work well when you have that the the hard difficulty what most of your mob farms aren't going to produce the way they should without it being in hard mode yeah most of your and mob you can't, farms uh, and your village mechanics because um, yep. you can't guarantee that a zombified villager or that a villager will become zombified uh, when he meets and greets a zombie in anything less than hard. Like, if we were to try some of the fancier trading hall designs that lower prices by turning them into zombies and curing them, ironically enough, we can't guarantee that they will become a zombie for us to cure in yeah, the current yeah. difficulty. It's only in hard mode that they guarantee they become a zombie that you can then cure. So we could actually, if we were to try some of the farm, some of the some of the farms, um, some of the trading halls that we currently see around that uh, various YouTubers and whatnot are using, um, we might lose villagers in the process because they is it a it's not a fifty fifty. But no, I, I have lost villagers already because I forgot that oh. we weren't in hard mode. <laughs> So, no, I can, I can. Uh, yeah, so that, that would be, that would be my contention for bumping us up into hard mode is for the, uh, for the mob farms to work a little bit better and the villager mechanics to be a little more reliable. The, the flip but, side though, is that the, be meaner. Uh, the early, uh, I don't think the pillagers are actually going to be more meaner. They're just more likely to show up. Um. Well, I need a bigger trophy room then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's your only caveat to that. Oh, I just need a bigger space to put all my heads. That's all. Yeah. Am I wrong? Nope. Nope. So they, they no yeah, so that. they'll they'll show up a little more frequently. So early game's gonna suck a little bit more than it did this go round. Uh just because early game it's really hard to find shelter and tools and things and you know people are gonna need to sleep more reliably. Yeah, that too. Oh <gasps> there are turtle eggs. Will they just naturally hatch if I leave them here? Don't step on them. And don't yeah. let bad people step on them. Yeah, and that's the bigger part, is not letting the bad people step on them. And then the turtles will return to that spot. Oh, did you <laughs> feed a couple of the turtles some seagrass? Yeah, I wanted to see what would happen. Did they kick a lot hey, of sand? People. You gotta give them a little more space if you're gonna build a fence around them. How much space do they need? Um, I can't I get a firm answer on that, so I'd give them at least a block. Because um, I've got a couple of uh, I've got a couple of eggs that I was using as bait for a trap that kept disappearing, and I'm not sure if it's a Minecraft glitch or if it's because they were too close to the wall, or something like that. Oh, crikey, I left my lighting. Um, over by my bed in front of the front gate, there should be a brown box with some uh, sea lanterns. So, what do you think of how the wall is going to look? Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't check. I thought you, I was oh. distracted by the turtles. Oh, well, that's fair. Yeah, turtle power. Oh wait, mm -hmm. no, that's probably in a data pack. <laughs> That actually would be a cool data pack if you could do that, if you could pull that off. 
get it to randomly show one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle heads. On the turtles. On the turtles. Just, yeah. Just give them the little, uh, what is it? Yeah, the, the, the mask. Yeah. yeah. I know there are some mechanics for uh, randomizing uh, parts of the skin, but I just don't know how that would work with the turtles. Yeah, well, just out and out retexturing around the same would be easy. So we could make them all just be like Donatello or something. Um, it would be the randomizing different ones that I'm not sure how to pull off. But I mean, it would be wicked cool to have Michelangelo running around. That would be fun. Did they come back for their babies? Or once they hatch them, are they done? Once they once they lay the eggs, they're done. Alright, that's gonna be one more. So this is five more in height. And they can't jump these iron bars, can they? Oh, yep, you can. What can? Anything. Uh, Bad guys. Yes. It's got to be too high for iron bars. Yeah. A fence they can't jump. If there are three turtle eggs versus one, does that mean three turtles will come out? Yep. Yes, as long as they don't break. Yeah. To give you an idea of how angsty the zombies are about turtle eggs, they will ignore you to go after them. Yeah. Did I make this three high? <laughs> <laughs> Any more iron bars? Only we had iron. Mm-hmm. We could probably use a little more, though. All right, I have encased the eggs. How long does it take eggs to hatch? It varies. Yes, it is exceedingly frustrating, but it varies. They have like a some small, like microscopic percentage chance to go from stage one to stage two to stage three to stage four. Um, every day at like midnight or some junk like that. Yeah. How can you tell the different stages apart? Um, you press visually, you look it at the has energy. cracks, or you look at the actual metadata. But if you just want a visual, it, it actually has different stages of cracked on it. So if it has no cracks. Then it's going to be, I think, stage one. Yeah. It's going to be a while. Okay. And but I don't know... Two tie I don't fence. Know if, uh, I don't know if sleeping through the night affects when it actually runs through the aging process. It, it does. You actually does. skip it. You skip the time, yeah. Azuma did a video about huh. that back at the beginning of the season. Okay. Whatever season they're on. Okay, so the eggs are safe now. Yeah, but have to you actually realize have that if you zone. want to hatch them, we're going to have to not sleep. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I want baby turtles. 
Sleep, 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 sleep through the night. Why are you not sleeping through the night? <gasps> turtles. All right, y'all on your own. Baby turtles. Baby turtles. It's a difference. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when they're adult turtles, we don't care anymore? No, we care just differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We care about them in a kind of conservationalist kind of way. Okay. Now we care about them because they're adorable. They're adorable. I love the way you said that. Have you been reading Jenny Lawson again? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Or listening to the audiobook. Uh, no, I don't have the audiobook on right now. Um, oh, okay. But uh, she's on my Instagram feed. Okay. Okay, that explains a bit. Sometimes she posts more videos than others. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes it's a two-spoon day. Lot. Now that was in the second book, wasn't it? I think so. Uh, where is Anon? I am on the fence. Well, thank you. Most of the time. You should shoot him down. In the game, too. Alright, where am I going? Right here. Oh. Oh, I already made a bunch of fence. Oh, well, you got more. Holy mother of fence, Batman. <laughs> as, as you go running off... <laughs> This is where I might insert my normal rant anyway about inventory space and inventory management. Mo Yang, if you could please, 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 please do something about increasing the inventory space. I'm pretty sure people would pay for it. Like they could put out another game and call it the Backpack Edition. And people <laughs> would pay for it. the Backpack Edition. That will be an extra $20 a game license, please. Shut up yeah. and take my money. And you know what we would all do? We would say, Mojang, take my money. I mean, to be sure, somebody's got a uh, data pack or something that could be used. You said no sleeping, right? No sleeping, but right. I need to have um, cute turtles. Put a, put a couple of blocks in front of the doors where the villagers are. They're safe from everything but the baby zombies. And, you know, with our luck, there's going to be a baby zombie. What is this our luck? Hey, hey. We're, we're all on the server together right now. See, the difference is he has bad luck because bad things just randomly happen. You punch gargoyles in the face after they've been pacified. <laughs> That's not bad luck. That's stupidity. No, no, it's actually not. <laughs> I'm glad you acknowledge this. <laughs> Yeah, um... Speaking of stupidity... Rainest was running a one-shot D&D campaign. AFK, I need to check the oven. And, uh... Arcadius... was, uh... playing a druid. And... I'm trying to decide if I want to do the long version of the story or the short version. I just saw something flying out of the corner of my eye and thought it was a phantom, and I was like, no, but I've been sleeping. Uh... It was an arcade. Oh, but I haven't. A different kind of phantom. But anyway, the, the short version of the story is that my character in this campaign had pacified... Oh, there is a phantom. Who hasn't slept? Me. Oh, oh it looks like they're going for Arcadius because he's near...
Yeah, they pushed you off the roof. Can't fly. Come here, phantoms. Ah. Good. You, phantom goop. You? Oh no, those are wonderful. Phantom if you don't want them, I'll take them. Um, I just have no Did inventory I get it? space. Oh, I can take some of those fence gates since I got to do the underwater area. Okay. Good. How much more do you need? Here. There we go. That should be more than good. Whoop. That guy. And people not checking their fire is why we have <laughs> PvP turned off. Oh, oh, what did I do? I slept. Go away. You hit his friend. And I missed. Oh, come on. I still want to get so wrapped up in the phantom that we forget about the, uh... The creeper's over there. You know... I know. Um, maybe if uh, you got nothing better to do, Arcadius, you might want to start lighting up the area around the village that we know is going to be occupied. Oh, who pissed it off? Oh, no. I did. Grab a boat. We've got a zombie villager. Why do we need a zombie villager? Because we can cure him. Yeah, but we got enough villagers to make a village. Yeah, but he'll give us cheap stuff. Oh, that's why I can't pick it up. I have no inventory space again. I don't have a boat. Here, put him in here. Oh, Ow, buddy, come on. Over here. I was gonna jump on that and get on the roof. Ow, ow, in here. In here. Go on. Let me out. Okay, I'll lock him in. There you go. Dead. He needs a roof. There's a creeper around the other side of the sheep. Back up. Got him. Um. That light won't hurt him, will it? No. No. Creeper, where'd you go? Keepers, creepers. There we go. He's protected. You no, know, just need a name tag him before he disappears. Do we have name tags? Uh, I thought we had a couple nearby. Or maybe I just brought just enough to do the village first. again. A Who did not see you? Baby. How long has it been since you slept, rest About as much as in real um. life. I mean, I think I slept before we started this. Because uh, they come in Obviously waves, depending not. on how long it's been since you slept. This is the third. And this is wave. yeah, this is the third wave. I I slept before we started making the village. I know that. All for the baby turtles. Mm -hmm. We love them. I already have names picked out. <laughs> Fred and George and Jim. No. 
the triplets are going to be Huey, Dewey, and Louie. No, oh, <laughs> not Larry, Curly, and Moe. Aw, oh, that'd be kind of sad. Because then I could make the one off to the side be Shimp. <laughs> the one nobody pays attention to. Exactly. <laughs> the one nobody even really remembers. <laughs> It's not so much that I don't remember. Hi. Oh. Um, any day now. How much longer will night last? Ten minutes. Oh my. What just happened? I heard a creeper explode. Yes, because the underground was not safe. Well, no, the underground Someone was Someone's job was to safety? No! No! The underground. No. What underground? Um, seriously, this is the fourth wave of phantoms. Oh, I thought this was lit down here. It is. Do you think I the turtles have redone their thing yet? Oh, I thought you said we had this. Oh, oh, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, my we inventory's full. It. I can't pick up nothing. Sorry. Are they burning yet? Yeah, they're all burning. Except the creepers, they don't burn. I mean, unless you ignite them with flint and steel, but I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Because my inventory was full, it picked up the uh, gunpowder instead of the trident returning. Oh, <laughs> we require name tags. Yeah, make sure he stays loaded in. I'll go get some. All right. Well, we'll be over here, clearing up spiders and creepers and things. Am I close enough to keep him loaded? Should be. Um, somebody with inventory space might want to run around and pick up all the drops. We lost some concrete powder on the way. Yeah, that happens. Where are the drops? Uh, scattered here, then yon. I don't see any by him. Uh, they're all over the place. I've been running around killing all the spiders and creepers that I've found. <laughs> Trying to avoid surprises as I continue work on the wall. You know. Oh, someone dropped an ender pearl? Yeah, the enderman. Oh. Okay. It's magic. <laughs> oh, oh, it's magic. Uh, no. Arcadius, did you bring back that, uh, light concrete? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nothing else is going to jump out at me at night. Or, while I'm working on this. No? Good. Okay. Back to the wall. One brick at a time. Or bar? I was thinking of another brick in the wall. Ah. He's not making any... Oh, there he goes. He is growling. Yay! Who's growling? Oh, the zombie. The bad guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Actually, Arcadius, while you, you're looking for name tags, do you have the potion of weakness and the golden apple? Already in my inventory. Oh, okay. So you remember those before the name tag, or you just happen to have those handy? I have a stack of 64 golden apples, and already have a shulker full Jeez. of weakness potions. 
I told you, I lost villagers when I remembered that this wasn't a hard serve. I was ready to go, and I couldn't go. <laughs> I was I was ready to rock and roll, but uh, it did not turn out that way. Uh, yeah. Where is you? All right, hand me the stuff. Oh, I want to see what to do. I don't need your axe. Arcadius. What do well, you want to do? Angry. I wanted to make him nice. That. There's that. And there's that. Oh, I need name tags for the turtles, too. Okay. I'll get you more. Okay, will he die if I open this? Just the bottom. Don't open the top. Okay. He has a monocle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Weird. Okay, so uh, you're going to name him Mandy? Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's the name tag I had. Can we rename it? Yeah. Alright, what do we want to name him? Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so I named him. Okay, what did you name? Now what? You'll see. Now what? Oh no. Weakness and then an apple or apple then weakness? No, weakness and then an apple. Oh, he mad about that. Is he shivering? Yeah. Then it's working. Oh, there were already two stacks of concrete powder over here. Really? Yeah. Oh. The first box with the brick in it. Not okay. a person yet. It takes up to five minutes. But him shivering like that's a good sign. <laughs> Let him shake it off. Go ahead and close him back in before a, a baby zombie gets him. Okay. I need more name tags, though. How do you make a name tag? You don't. You don't. You either buy it from a villager... Um, or you fish it up. Okay, well, I need four name tags. Let me go check. I may have a few more, but I think I'm running low on them. Did my turtle satch? Might be cracked, but they won't be hatched. Not in one night. Adding some iron bars in the hopes that that'll help speed this up. Uh, yeah, some of this is not lit well, sir. Did the creeper actually blow up from underneath the area? That's what it seemed like. Uh, I'm pretty sure that isn't the way that worked. Not with the blast, uh, the blast damage isn't... Doesn't look as though that's how that happened. Well, it's hard to tell the blast damage since somebody left giant holes. But there was a grass down there, so they were above that level. But anyway. those of you wondering, I'm my turtle shell bars fired. around him because it's supposed to speed up the process, or at least it used to in previous versions. Nobody seems entirely sure if it's still the case. But they put the iron bars around him anyway, just in case. Because it does no harm if it doesn't still work. It only helps if it does. Oh, one of my eggs cracked. My three eggs did not. Yep. It's a chance every time. Okay, I have no more tags, so I'm gonna have to go buy some. Um over in uh in my house, my main base, there should be some name tags in the box with all the redstone stuff. 
Do we want any of the turtles inside, or do we want them... I am okay either way on that front. Would it be inhumane I'm, to make, bring okay them inside? I'm okay having a couple of kept turtles. So do you need four or five? Four. Oh, things float in the water. That's not fun. <laughs> oh, Yay. that's right. This is the first time you've done it. Congratulations. Right, don't let me die. Congratulations, Dr. Rast. He's a person again. Well, I mean... Did she name him anyway? No, I don't know. Convert. <laughs> so, should like, we leave him in there <laughs> until we get the wall up? <laughs> I mean, I do believe that is the safest place for him to be at the moment. And that's right, he's only going to be nice to Reyes, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, why don't you go ahead and sleep? I know that means the turtles aren't going to happen any faster, but uh, after that last misadventure and with Reyes AFK... Uh, I think it would be in all our best interest to not have 82 waves of uh, phantoms. Yeah, but she slept, so we shouldn't have phantoms again. Was she the one that finally slept? Yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do some playing around with this fence. Figure out how I did some of the contours. Yeah, so that would actually go down one block. One block? I guess I am going up two blocks there. That goes down. That would go down that way. That would go down that way. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Alright. Still not bad, though. I really need to bring this, uh, this wall up a little bit quicker, though. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, too many rockets. Let's try coming out. This that's already gonna drop down one. Do that.
And that's not too bad. Still gonna do the trim, work out some of the corners. Get the walkway across the top. But really, that at least provides a measure of protection. And I gotta work on that tower design. Although it is eight o'clock. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. Let me go find a picturesque place to stand. <laughs> if it'll let me take off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's what those are. <laughs> oh, I love the little hatcheries. Okay, so she is down four and a half hearts right now. Um, yes. That didn't do anything. Good. So much for having healing arrows. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, actually, let's go here. There we go. Got a little more fence up. And uh, this is where I want to go ahead and switch over to the end credits. And say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. A uh, little more rambly, trying out some different stuff. Um, let me know what you think. And hopefully now that the moving, the moving appearance is mostly done, I can actually get to the produced video. Uh, whether or not that actually finishes, finishes, uh, depends on a couple of things. So I might have one more weekend away, uh, depending, possibly two. And then hopefully I'll be able to get to that video production thing and start doing some produced videos, some shorter content, um, and that sort of thing. Or maybe I'll just uh, put together a clip shot from some of the live stuff. I, I don't know. I'm still working out that those sorts of things. Um, have fun. Enjoy. We do this 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern every Tuesday night. And on Thursdays, we do Games Revisited. Hang on. Somebody's trying to push me off a tall place, and I'm about to... Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I know how to fix that sort of thing. 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Tuesdays and Thursday. I play Games Revisited where we take a look at some classic games and do a um, leisurely pace through them, try to show as much content as we can and that sort of thing. And... I would, uh, we are getting ready to finish season one. We've been playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And we are, we got one, definitely one, maybe two more weeks until we finish. I'm going to do a wrap up episode the week after that with some of the lessons learned and plans for season two, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm either going to do Chrono Trigger or Crystallis for Season 2. Chrono Trigger was a game for the Super Nintendo, and Crystallis was a game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the original Nintendo, the one that started it all, or Famicom, depending on you know which part of the world you're from. Um, so it's going to be one of those two. Uh, I haven't quite settled on which. I'm leaning towards Chrono Trigger only because while helping Mom move, we uh, we came across my old Nintendo Power Guide. So for those of you who remember the old days of Nintendo Power and all that, uh, we, we might take a trip even further down memory lane with that sort of thing. Uh... These will all get uploaded, all the replays and all that get uploaded to uh, YouTube. There is a link down below if you're watching this live. If you're not watching this live, that means you're watching it on YouTube and you've already found the channel. Thank you. Please subscribe. 
it helps the channel out and it helps recommend and it gives me an idea how many people are are actually uh, keeping tabs on uh, what's going on. So before I completely ramble this outro out too far, let me say thank you. Have fun. Good night. See you next week. <laughs>